Hey there, this is Eric and Victoria. And we are coming at you live from Atlanta, Georgia. Happy Friday, everybody. Yeah. And so we're giving you our daily dose of motivation and inspiration. Uh, and yeah, inspiration. And wisdom. And wisdom. Oh, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> at any rate, uh, we'd like to discuss the topic of accountability. How can you be accountable to your business? You see, we all set out to do the best every year around mm, December 31st, and we're getting ready f to set our goals for the new year. And we have a whole list of goals, but you all know how that works. Everybody sets out to start that gym membership, and you know, you go for about a month and a half, and then you know, life happens. and. Where did that gym membership go? Well, the same thing can happen to your business, but you don't want that to happen to your business. So the thing is, you have to set out with some ground rules that's gonna help you to be accountable to your goals. Now, number one, you need to have some goals. So if you don't have some goals and you haven't written them down, well. That could be a problem. And it's already July and we're at the halfway point. So the Bible says, have a vision and write it down on tablets. Write it down. Now, a tablet could be a tablet or it could be your, your uh, post -it note. phone or it could be a post-it note or it could be, be your computer. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So you want to have your goals, you want to write them down, but you have to have some goals that you can manage. And if the goals are too broad, like, okay, this is what I want to accomplish by next year, chances are you're not going to make it. So you got to break it down to weekly goals, monthly goals. Manage it. And uh, you really got to break it down to daily goals. And so the thing is, how can you be accountable to those goals? That's the big question. What can you do to be accountable? So let's start with talking about what makes you is the word unaccountable? Is that is that a word? No, that's what not makes a you word. Not I, accountable. Not accountable. <laughs> what makes you not accountable? What's not the accountable. opposite of being accountable to being your goal? Being accountable. So you know what? You, we start out okay. Here you go. You roll out of bed, and you still got sleep in your eyes, right? And then so you want to get started. So what do you do? You flip out your phone and you start scrolling through your Facebook. Oh my God, so-and-so said this, so-and-so said that. Oh my God, let me see what's going on in the news. Oh my God. And before you know it, hours have gone by. <laughs> Days, weeks, and months. We're already, it's July already, the halfway point. Yeah, if that, if that happens every day, which it's easy for that to happen. It's easy for it to happen. Then, you know, like Victoria said, weeks, months can go by. Pretty much half a year goes by, That's right. and what have you really accomplished? Nothing. So you got you got to track to those daily goals you set out. You got to have a system, uh, an audit trail. You write your goals down the night before. That's really really good. Yeah, that's write them my down. thing. Always the night before. I cannot start a day unless I know what I'm doing before that day gets there. <laughs> because you know what happens. And then I can if, check off what I've if, done. If you don't write the goals the day before, usually it's going to be lunchtime before you get started writing your goals. The day just happens. The day just happens. Yeah, you know, you know, you know what, you, you have the best intentions, but what happens? You those, can't live vicariously those like that. Those urgent, gotta be planned. those urgent things start taking over. Yeah. You know, you start fighting fires. You know, isn't it so true that the fires always take the place of the things that we've planned? But unless you haven't written down the night before. Written down you're not going to be able to get back to them that's because right. that's what happens. An emergency happens. It takes you off track and then you stay off track for the rest of the day. Because you're focused on the fire instead of watching what you've got focused to do initially. So you've got to have something written down. It's kind of like you don't go into a grocery store without a grocery list. And you definitely don't go in the grocery store if you're hungry. So if you go in that grocery store and you have a list of everything that you need before you go in there, then when you get in there, if there's by chance something you think about and say, yeah, I want to add that to the list, then you can be accountable to first the things that you've got to have, that other is just extra. The same with your business. You've got to know what you're going to do the day before, and that way, if it's written down, 
then when your day comes and if a fire or something does happen out of the blue, something you didn't plan on being in your schedule, at least you know what you have to do. Now, if you don't get to it, at least you could check it off and rewrite it and reset it like resetting a goal for the next day or the next week. But at least you are accountable to what you have to do and you know what you've got to do. Now, you may not get to it, but at least you know what you got to do. Then you got to time block it. So when you're writing down the goals the night before, you have to block out time. You got to say, okay. I mean, write it, block it down. Like, this is what I'm going to do seven to eight. This is what I'm going to do two to four. You got to block it. You got to have a real yeah. schedule. You have a, yeah, you do. And be you got to be accountable to those yeah. times. You have to. I mean, how long does it take to do a particular activity? You got to estimate. And you know what? It's tough to do that at first. Eric and I actually took a class. It was several months. We actually had accountability partners, and we actually had a course in time blocking. I mean, it was something we strategically had to be trained in. We, it was called time block. Remember that yeah, class we took? Yeah, I remember. And I remember yeah. at the time, I was like, ah, oh, what's so big about it? It was very hard because we had to block off how you block your time out. There is a method to the madness. It's called time blocking. We actually took a course in time blocking, and it was for entrepreneurs. Now the, now the thing is, you got to be accountable to those times. You so do. what happens? They mean something. What happens? You know, you get caught up in a particular activity. Oh, these bugs are killing it out here. You get caught up in a particular activity, uh, and then you lose track of time. So one way you can keep track of the time is to use the watch function on your phone. Okay. You know that alarm function on your phone? He's good for that. So you can set it if the activity is supposed to take two hours set it for two hours and then that a music or whatever type of alarm you have is going to go off and you'll know how you're doing relative to the time that you schedule That's right. now the thing is it's going to be difficult at first yeah it's going to be very very challenging because it's changing a habit and you know it takes 20 to 30 days to to really create a habit and so the thing is you're going to have to kind of push through you're going to have to push through and you're going to have to push away all of the distractions like the people these it's good for eric are people that are procrastinators like i used to be the hugest biggest procrastinator procrastination is the biggest nation okay for people who put things off for people who vicariously just kind of do whatever you know shoot at the hip and do whatever happens happens spontaneous for, uh, spontaneous Ooh. people people who don't like to be bottled in and, and 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 felt like they're forced to have to do something it's great for people to acquire that talent yeah. and acquire that um that skill set yep time blocking is very important because at some point in your business in your life you're going to have to time block and prioritize what you have to do. Otherwise, you know what? You'll never get to your business and you'll never accomplish anything you want to in life. Eventually, somehow in there, you're going to have to be accountable. Now, here's, the real, to. Now here's the real secret to accountability. And that is, you know, it's the most difficult thing when you're trying to do it all by yourself. Because mm -hmm. people have a tendency to fool themselves and think they're really doing better or accomplishing more than they're really accomplishing. It's psychological gymnastics. Who you think you're really doing it when maybe you're just being busy being busy. Even when you have a schedule, sometimes yeah. people have a tendency to fool themselves. Yeah, so, I know. I've done it. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> you know. need to find a way to have an accountability partner. Right. You got to have an accountability partner that's going that you're going to announce to them what you're going to accomplish yeah. for that week, yeah. and then meet with them at least once a week. Now, mine is my spouse, but it doesn't have to be your spouse. It could be one of your friends. It could be a business associate. It could be a counter partner that you're working with in the business. Um, it, just somebody that that's going to hold your foot to the fire is not going to let you get away with things someone that really can have your back and really help you be the best you okay and I don't mean accountability department just tells you what you want to hear <laughs> right you know those kind of people yeah they feel good people they tell you what you want to hear make you feel say, good make you feel good oh you're doing oh, oh he doesn't take all that <laughs> no yeah that's not a good accountability accountability partner is someone who's going to say look you didn't do good today come on you're not you're not this is not how you're going to get there the other thing you can do is have an accountability group, which is one of the things we do. We have an accountability group, uh, and it's Great. an online group. So we have video chats once a week, 
Uh, and it works. It's very, very effective. They share effective. ideas and at the same time hold you accountable. So. Everybody needs that. If what we're saying is, if you're finding value in what we're saying, you may want to check out our, um, the link above. Get in touch that, with us. And that's going to take you to the 10 day free attraction. Online. Online attraction marketing boot camp. That's right. Guys, take advantage of that because it is amazing and it it's really changing and lives. We're getting so much engagement from that and people are just and getting excited. And it does excited. work when you apply it. It does work. Absolutely. When you apply it, it does work. So with that, we're going to get out of here away from these bugs. And we're going to say, hope you're going to have a great weekend. And if your weekend isn't great so far, make it a great one. Excellence always prevails. Hmm.